Hello, I am starting my first video. Uh, this is for Liberty Basic, and it'll work on Just Basic too. Should work for the same method. You want to make yourself a, a program that picks numbers for you for your lottery. So it'd be Lotto Max in this case. Um, say you don't trust yourself picking numbers and you don't trust the machine picking numbers. So make your computer pick the numbers. Well there's no guarantee this will win anything. In fact, right off the start I'll say it won't make you win anything but if it does then congratulations. This is just something for you to play with, okay? Uh, so start on the go we start up at the top, it'll say gossip roll. So the first first part here is just say Lotto Max number picker. And then down below it will say gossip roll. So that'll be the subroutine that it moves to. And so I'll go down here, you can see my mouse, right? Uh, it'll say roll. This is your subroutine where it starts. And it'll just say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So there's seven seven numbers that we're looking for. And each number is gonna be a number between one and forty-nine. So here's the forty-nine. And this is the random uh, it'll pick a random number between one and forty-nine for each one. And after that, it'll come down to here and it'll look at each one and make sure that it's not repeating the same number because you don't want that. So just it's just the process of elimination. And then it'll drop down to the next one and it'll just keep on going until it gets to the last two and then F will check with G to see if they match and if not then it'll go down to the bottom and it'll return. I don't think that weight is needed. So that was just something I had going with the previous version of this. Because I was trying I was working with a four next loop, but but I'm not doing that right now. I'm just doing a basic uh, manual version of this. So after after it's done here, well you'll say return and then it'll go whoop back up to the top. And below goes up, which is, you know, the command that sent it down there in the first place. And then you go print. These are your numbers. And then, you know, and then below that, it'll print the first, you know, I'll put a space on it so it just has a space from the sidewall. Uh, then there's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then after those numbers, the values of those variables are printed out. It'll wait until it's done, and then end. So when you close the window, it will actually, you know, that's when it'll close everything off and you'll be done. Then all you got to do is after you make the program, you make a standalone program, you can take that and drag it down to your taskbar, and then you can click on it every day or however many times you want to make a, a lottery ticket and you know just keep doing it you don't have to I don't have to do any more coding right I don't have to say yeah do you want to do do another roll no I don't have to do that because once it's done you just have to you know once it's compiled or if, say if you want to just keep on running it in here you can save it and say if you got just basic you can save it and then you can just uh, you know you can run it in there every day if you want if you're getting to like it but anyways uh, yeah um, this is uh, just for you to play with there's nothing nothing intended really just just to play with the numbers and thanks for watching the video